is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5. It's a time to think about why we have what we have here in America. Special programs across the state today. Good evening, everyone, and happy Memorial Day. I'm Megan Conway. Rod has the night off. One of the ceremonies that we went to was held in Meade, Nebraska, and Congressman Jeff Fortenberry attended it. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Zach Worthington was there and has more details for us in our top story tonight. Zach? Megan, communities throughout Nebraska held remembrance and grave decorating ceremonies to honor all our fallen veterans. In Meade, a Memorial Day ceremony was held at the Morningside Cemetery. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry was in attendance, and he gave a speech to the crowd. Memorial Day is such an essential holiday for America where we stop and pause from our busyness and remember those who gave their all, who sacrificed their all for our liberty and for our well-being. A gun salute was administered and high school musicians supplied the music. To be here in Meade, Nebraska with a beautiful Nebraska small town community and know that the memories of those who have fallen is still alive, of course, is deeply moving to me, but also speaks to the character and heart of who we are as Americans. Gregory Larson is a Meade native. His family has close to 100 years of military experience. If his health hadn't failed him, he would answer the call again. If I was a little younger and my health was a little better, I would do it again. <laughs> it, uh, I would be glad to. Another Meade resident, Bill Baltz, has family members and friends buried here. His father was a World War II veteran. Bill says he makes a point to go to visit graves in three different counties just to decorate them. I just think we should, uh, while, while we're still here, we should uh, remember them. This ceremony is something the Meade community looks forward to each year. Congressman Fortenberry was pleased to be a part of it. Memorial Day is about dignity and nobility, that someone would lay down their lives for their friends, for us, out of love of country and out of love of, for us, demands that we pause from our busyness and simply th say thank you through memorials. Everyone I spoke to was very proud of their military roots and hope to pass on this pride and respect to future generations. 